Welcome back to 13C. Today, the GM22 from Gemtech. Uh, this can looks familiar, it probably should. We've been using this uh, out here uh, with our friend Gunrunner219. We'll leave some channel information down there below for him. Uh, he's been out here with this and brought it pretty much every time he's come out for the past couple of years. Um, fun little can. And some of the details, it is a small can. It's five inches long and weighs two and a half ounces, uh, which is nice. It's a small weight, you know, so it definitely fill if you're looking for something really light to stick on the end of a rifle, for example, it's probably where it's gonna live best as opposed to necessarily on a pistol. Uh, it's a monocore design. It's got their G-core design in there. It also has, I think it's called their G3 technology uh, core finish, which is supposed to make cleaning easier. Being though it's constructed out of 7075 aluminum, um, you're not gonna be able to use some of those harsher chemicals like the dip, for example, uh, that you could use on stainless steel. So there's kind of a give and take there in that regard. It's rated for 22 long rifle, 22 WMR, as well as 17 HMR. And uh, it is full auto rated for 22 LR only. Finish on here is a black matte Cerakote. It's got their visible IR reduction uh, coating on here built into that. And uh, the decibel ratings that the factory lists for this online are 36 to 39 dBs. Uh, to be quite honest with you, I think that's being a little generous on their decibel reductions. We did a video, uh, metering video, uh, 22 LR showdown, several weeks ago, maybe two months ago at this point, and this uh, exact can uh, was in that metering video, stacked it up against a handful of other 22 silencers, put on the meter, so I would encourage you to go back and check that video out if you wanna see what our decibels had on the same day, same gun, same ammo, across uh, a couple different ones see how it fits into what you want. So we got some 40 grain subsonic uh, from Agia in here. Agila? Agia? Either way. Let's listen to it. You note that first round pop on there. I'll put one into the steel for you. Oh crap, miscounted. We've got the same 40 grain subsonic Agia in here, and uh, this is on our Savage B22. We're having a great time today with, uh, with 22s here today. There we go. Agia, really bringing the uh, confidence here today, isn't it? Who we'll put this one into the steel? Oh, there's another one in there. Look at that. <laughs> Gonna be an Agia day. Five and five, five dirt, five steel. Well, if anything, the malfunctions go to show once the can gets filled with air again, you're going to get that first round pop. 
But otherwise, welcome to the world of rim fire. We're back to the same setup. All we've changed is the ammo, because again, could it have been the ammo? Yes, could not, could be meat. Let's find out. There you go. So we've got some Federal Suppressor brand ammo now. We've been having some issues here today with this and the uh, Agia. So let's, uh, let's run this Federal Suppressor and see how we do. Sometimes I get asked if ammo matters. Yeah, it matters. And this is subsonic suppressor brand ammo that was out running both the subsonic and the standard velocity Agia. So uh, kudos to Federal for that. Overall, you know, these are pretty economically priced, uh, you know, thanks to that monocore design. Uh, and they're small and lightweight, makes it easy to stick, you know, let's say dedicate on the end of a 22 LR uh, bolt action rifle, for example, is where this thing will probably do its best. Because it's a monocord, it's going to have the first round pop you'll see in some of the videos that we roll in here. First round pop on rifle, not really not really anything to talk about. It's there, but it's, it's minimal. First round pop on a handgun, it's noticeable. There's, there's definitely a distinct difference. It's not like you're going to have any hearing issues or anything else. It's nowhere close to being, you know, even getting close up to, uh, be, you know, damaging your hearing or anything along those lines. Just it is something that's noticeable. So if that's important to you, you know, you're, you're going to want a baffle stack can. Otherwise, though, price point, um, where, where they're at right now, um, you know, small, lightweight, not necessarily a horrible choice. I'd say, you know, if you've got several silencers already, especially you're looking for something that's going to be an add-on or a dedicated can, you know, like I said, on a 22 rifle, um, you know, lightweight, you know, especially if you're out plinking, you know, doing things, doing small varmint hunting, things like that, uh, you know, it's not going to add weight on the end. You're not going to get tired with it hanging out there. So there's that. Uh, I want to give, it, again, special thank you to Gunrunner219 for being out here with us today so that we can uh, we can bring you this video, as well as uh, our friends at Silencer Shop. Uh, they <laughs> they do a really easy job of buying stuff uh, online uh, with their SID kiosk. Go to a kiosk once, put your fingerprints in, and you do everything else online from there in. Uh, you can upload photos from your from an app they have on your phone, so a passport style photo, get that taken care of, order something, you know, have it transferred, do all the paperwork, especially with all the weird coof nonsense that's going on now. Um, you don't have to worry about, you know, getting fingerprinted every single time. They, you know, hold your fingerprints as long as you want. Makes it easier, so it's definitely worth checking out. And uh, we've done a number of our transfers uh, using that SID kiosk. It's, it's, it's made it really brain, just brain dead simple, especially if you're not getting into, uh, or if you are getting into NFA for the first time, helps a lot. Anyway, thanks everybody. We really appreciate your support. We've got a Patreon if you're interested, as well as a swag shop, uh, apparel from 1776 United. That's where you can find our channel shirts. 7613C is the code that'll save you 15% off pretty much anything on their site, including our channel shirts. We appreciate all your support, especially with everything that's going on right now with YouTube. We're gonna be dropping videos on full 30, a couple days before we do on YouTube, uh, and as well, we'll be dropping videos on GunStreamer like normal as well. Um, but we're going to start dropping those early on those other channels, uh, especially Full 30, because we want to support these other channels, uh, especially as YouTube continue cracking down. We just got uh, a bunch more uh, hits the other day on our videos. Uh, now they're age restricting them on top of being demonetized, on top of being removed from the partnership program all the other stuff that we've gone through, now they're age restricting our videos on top of all that. And of course, if you watch our videos, there's nothing age inappropriate about what we do here. Anyway, thank you everybody. We appreciate your support. Take care, stay safe. We'll talk soon.